Okay, this is my machine, and this is going to be a test between just regular air assist and compressed air. So just to give you a little rundown, this is the way I have things set up. Six inch uh, exhaust fan out the wall, and um, <clears throat> I'm going to use this one board, and I'm going to set up uh, three cut boards. One, two, three. <clears throat> Uh, coming around here, I have the dreaded 3300 chiller, which is actually not a chiller at all, but it works just fine for my purposes. I have a 60-watt machine, and I'm just a hobbyist, so I don't really work it all that hard. And there's my air assist upgrade. Um, I'm sorry I can't use the OEM air assist. Uh, that has been thrown out long ago. Um, so, anyway. And then I have assorted junk that everybody accumulates in their hobby room. Um, there's my transfer tape and my cleaning supplies and all the other good stuff and then electronic stuff and Kapton tape and 3D printing supplies and et cetera, et cetera, and I digress. So uh, coming around here, um, sorry if, I, if I'm getting a little uh, too fast for you, but here's light burn and I'm, I have three uh, cut boards one on the left side is the normal air assist then i have the california i have an eight gallon california um, compressor which i'll show in a minute and then i have the um, uh, so at 15 pounds per square inch when you use and then 30 psi and i'm going to compare these three cut boards off one same piece of wood okay and i'll stop now and start again Okay, so I made that first cut board, and as you can see, there's a little bit of scorching. Uh, this wood is naked. Um, there's many ways of getting rid of the scorching, but I still do have some scorching. The, the original OEM uh, Assist Air had more scorching than this, and the, mate and the, uh, the upgrade... Uh, reduced it, uh, but now I'll I'll do a second cut board and a third cut board, and now what I've done is I've introduced my California um, compressor, and as you can see, I've set this to uh, 15 uh, psi, uh, and this wraps around to um, to a connector, uh, which will go here, which will go to my my unit. And uh, as you can see, I disconnected the upgraded air assist. So now, and I haven't moved anything inside of my unit, uh, and I won't until I do the final cut board. Okay, I'll stop and start again. Okay, that was fun. Uh, I have to say that the uh, this California compressor is is quite the item. Uh, it is very quiet. I uh, this is not um, obnoxious. Not even in the slightest. I can live with this easily in the house. Um, it's not any more noisy than the machine uh, itself. Um, and and uh, I don't even think of it as twice as noisy as the machine. It isn't. I, I'll i be fine with this in the house. This is fine. Uh, and also, uh, it looks like I have some better results. If you look at the um, the upgraded air assist unit that I had, versus the 15 psi it does look cleaner you can still see some scorching so there's still need for some cleanup uh, again there's uh, i'm not adverse to scorching cleanup even this uh, the original is not an issue and i'll show that when i at the end of the of the uh, of the video i'll clean all three up and you'll see they should probably all look similar uh, but this is quite impressive at 15 psi, so now let's get to 30. I'll end now and start again. I just want to give an idea of the sound level uh, in the room while this is actually running. Um, as you can see, this is uh, recharging. It, it recharges a little bit and then turns off and then recharges a little bit. You can see I have it running at 30 psi. Um, yeah, so this is this is very easy to have a conversation with someone in the room. Um, it, um, I'm liking it. Alrighty then, so we're done with the 30 psi. 
Um, 30 PSI really blew things around. The, this this one uh, hole uh, flew somewhere. I have no idea. And this hole here is uh, from that one there. And you can see uh, some of them are spun around. So 30 PSI really blows this thing around. So now um, I have not moved anything. Uh, so now we see, oh, by the way, let's just look at some scorching. That is the, the 15 PSI and here's the 30 PSI. I really don't notice that much of a difference between 30 and 15. Um, maybe 30 is a little bit better, but uh, again, there's still some scorching. So, and si since there has to be cleanup, um, 15 seems fine. So I'm going to take um, my magnets. By the way, I, I put a little piece of wood here um, and some painter's tape so that the magnets can be placed here nice and easily and I can pick them up nice. All right, so now the other thing is uh, um, high pressure is supposed to cut like butter. So here we go. Let's lift this up. All right, that was, you know, totally expected, but let's see what happens. This is the air assist. Let's tap it. And this is what we have falling out. And now here's 15. And tap it. All right, so already I'm looking at something. Well, you know, that guy right there. He kind of wants to come out, but still he didn't come out with tapping, so he doesn't count, right? So, um, and now 30 PSI and tap it. So it looks like 30 PSI and 15 PSI are identical, identical, um, if you like Cousin Vitty. Uh, and uh, it looks like... Um, the air assist, the uh, upgraded air assist is lacking a bit. So now let's turn them over and see like what almost came through. All right, so the upgraded air assist uh, almost came through on a lot. So those, are, those could be pushed out. Um, the 15 uh, PSI, um, there's a few that could be pushed out. Um, and then the 30 PSI, I think the same amount as the 15 could be pushed out. Oh, wait, I didn't notice that, um, on the 15 PSI, this guy didn't pop out, but on the 30 PSI, that guy did pop out. So I didn't notice that on for, at first, you guys probably did. Um, but so yeah, so 30 PSI actually did cut better. I didn't realize that at first blush. So there you go. Proof positive, air assist works. Um, I didn't believe it. I was a skeptic. You can see my uh, my other posts. Um, so, but I now I am a believer, and uh, I have also fallen in love with uh, California um, air tools uh, because this thing is quiet and just a beautiful, beautiful item. Okay, here they are now cleaned up. Um, these are cleaned. I use a a um, five to ten percent solution of vinegar and water, and uh, a paper towel. If I have a real tough scorching problem, I'll use a magic eraser as well. Uh, this I didn't use a magic eraser here. It was just a paper towel. So, and again, this is naked wood. So, as you can see, this is the uh, the upgraded uh, assist. Uh, you can see the lines look kind of thick, um, not real happy. Um, I didn't really work on the, the I worked on the, um, on the circles. I didn't really work on the lettering all that much. Uh, the lettering could be cleaned up. Um, but I wanted to get, if you remember, there was, there was a bunch of cloudy uh, scorching here and that's what I got rid of. Uh, so then uh, over here on the 15, there was some uh, puffs uh, that, very light puffs, uh, and I got rid of those. Again, I didn't do anything with the lettering, although the lettering looks pretty darn good. Um, and then the 30. Now, also, you might notice that 
a, another uh, circle left the 30 and another circle left the original one. I did not uh, intentionally push out the circles. Uh, those two circles were just very, very lightly in there and just my handling of the boards uh, lightly um, uh, rubbing, uh, I don't even want to call it rubbing, just lightly stroking uh, the boards with uh, a damp paper towel uh, with the vinegar water uh, was enough to make those uh, pop out. I, they, I did not intentionally uh, push anything. I, I think a couple more of these circles could be pushed. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that, 30, that 30 PSI is rather impressive. You know, compared to the, um, uh, the just the, the the air assist upgrade, and this is a quarter inch plywood. It was just uh, I got it from Lowe's. Um, I don't know what kind. It was just it looked like it could be cut nicely, and um, as you know, plywood just it, it's different. Uh, you could buy plywood, and you could have most of these circles out. You could buy, buy another piece of plywood, and uh, yeah, it could be you know not so good. All right, thanks, bye.